Adding the MindBuzz server onto your PC account is pretty easy and I'll just step you through that now. So you open up the Minecraft game and it will come up looking like this. This is after you've installed it following the directions on this card. You will then have logged in with your email address and your password. Then click log in and that will bring you to this page here. Now, there is a couple of things here. First one is you will need to edit profile. So you can go here and call the profile MindBuzz and you wanna re use release 1.9 at the moment. This will change as we update our server. At the moment, there is one, it goes all the way up to 1.10, but our server is not quite ready for that yet. We're waiting on some plugins to get developed further before we move up to 1.10. You want to use version 1.9. If you don't do that, it'll say server is outdated, and that's a common question I get. So you then click save profile, and the profile name is here. You can also make different profiles, so if you joined a different server that's using a different version you can call that put that name there and you can have multiple profiles so I'll put mine buzz back in there you then click play this will open up the game and you get to choose between single player and multiplayer when we go into multiplayer we're going to put in those settings that just flashed up on the screen there momentarily so we click on multiplayer. You're going to add server and call it mind, whoop, mind buzz. Now the server address is in the back of your book. And that is 203.57.45.164. That's your IP address. So we click done and that will then ping the server and yep it's coming back all good the green bars there are your connection strength we host in Australia so that's why ours are so strong as compared to most other servers that host on the platforms overseas at the expense of the players we have added server and we just click join now and we join if you get the an error message saying that you are not whitelisted or anything like that then you need to get whitelisted on the server and there'll be instructions in your email that you get after camp and there's a website here to go and do that too.